T minus six hours and holding. This is shuttle launch control. Space Shuttle Program Managers met at 11.30 last night and gave a go to proceed with tanking operations for a launch attempt this morning for the STS-114 return to flight mission. Tanking operations should begin around 12.45 a.m. when we begin to fill liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen into the external tank. Conditions for tanking this morning are 82 degrees at the pad with an 85% relative humidity. This morning, the weather forecast was a 0% chance of weather prohibiting tanking operations. Following the Columbia accident on February 1, 2003, NASA and Lockheed Martin Space Systems Company spent nearly two years modifying the tank to make it safer. The tank that will fly on mission STS-114 will fly with several modifications including two new forward bipod heaters at the forward attached fittings that connect the tank to the orbiter. A new heater was also added to the liquid oxygen feed line bellows area of the tank to minimize frost and ice buildup. The feed line is part of the pipeline that carries the liquid oxygen to the orbiter's main engines. In addition, NASA's second redesigned tank has been outfitted with temperature sensors and accelerometers used to measure vibration.